What I wish I knew in school. Something that would have made research projects so much easier and more insightful. You don't have to pick just one way to study a problem. In fact, some of the best research happens when you combine different approaches. That's where mixed methods comes in. It lets you use the best of both worlds, numbers and stories, data and details. Ready to see how this works in real life? Think of mixed methods design like making a smoothie. You don't just use one fruit. You blend several to create something tastier and more nutritious. Each ingredient adds its own unique flavor and nutrients, just like each research method brings its own strengths to your study. In research, this means mixing two powerful approaches, quantitative and qualitative methods. Quantitative data is all about numbers, measuring things you can count, like test scores, survey results, or attendance rates. Qualitative data, on the other hand, is about stories, opinions, and experiences. What people think, feel, and say. Let's break it down with an example. Imagine you want to find out why students love or hate online classes. This is a question with many layers. You could send out a survey to get numbers, like how many students prefer online learning or how many struggle with it. That's your quantitative data. Clear, measurable, and easy to compare. But numbers only tell part of the story. They can show you trends, but not the reasons behind them. What about the reasons behind those preferences? Why do some students thrive online while others struggle? That's where interviews or open-ended questions come in, giving you qualitative data. You can ask students to share their experiences, challenges, and what they enjoy or dislike. These stories and explanations help you understand the why behind the numbers, revealing insights you might otherwise miss. When you mix both, you don't just know how many students feel a certain way, but also why they feel that way and what factors influence their opinions. This gives you a deeper, more complete picture, one that's richer and more useful for making decisions or recommendations. With this approach, you can design better solutions, create more effective policies, and truly understand the people you're studying. Mixed methods design helps researchers make better decisions because they understand both the what and the why. It's like having a map and a guidebook for your research journey. So next time you have a big question, remember, you can blend numbers and stories to get the full answer. Don't limit yourself to just one method. That's the magic of mixed methods design. It's the secret ingredient to truly understanding complex problems and making your research shine.